MBTI는요 개인의 선천적인 선호 경향을 알아보는 검사로. I feel like when I did an MBTI test, it said something like you talk too much. You try and help people. You try and be inspirational. You talk too much. You're boring. It was something like that. <laughs> Hello, human beings. My name is Comedian. Today, I'm reacting to MBTI. I don't know what that stands for, but it's got BTS in it, which is the important thing. That's why I'm here. That's why you're here, presumably. You might be here because you like my videos, but probably not. The whole reaction idea is I, I trick you into watching my videos by having BTS in it and you're like, wait a second, I'm watching someone else. Unrelated. I've been fooled, bamboozled again. That's a reaction video for you. I've let you behind the curtain. This kind of, the setup of this video looks like it might be Run BTS adjacent, which is cool because I like Run BTS. But anyway, thank you to my live stream for suggesting this one. If you want to take part in my fun live streams, which I do well and pronounce English well, during, then you'll want to subscribe so you can see when I go live. Uh, you'll also want to get comfy, get settled, because we're going to react to this right now. Oh, I hope this has subtitles. It's got Korean subtitles, which is useful. I mean, I'm still in the same boat, but at least now I can see what it's supposed to be. Settings. Let's 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 choose English, shall we? Again, YouTube YouTube often picks Arabic for me. Like YouTube thinks I'm way more interesting and worldly than I am. Which is depressing. It's like a reminder. That's better. Seriously, Run BTS vibes are off the chart. Yes, please do. This this sounds familiar now. I feel like MBTI is like a personality type thing. I feel like I've done that before. Maybe. Yeah, okay. Okay, that does sound familiar. I feel like when I did an MBTI test, if that's what I'm thinking of, it said something like, you talk too much, you try and help people, you try and be inspirational, you talk too much, you're boring. It was something like that. But you didn't have a lip ring back then, presumably, so time has passed. <laughs> Surely, actually, no, I guess that makes sense. Because I don't think your, your, I don't think your personality type should necessarily change that much. But I've also, I feel like I've heard that your personality is kind of, it is open and flexible until you hit like the age of 30 and 35 and then your personality is kind of set after that and the only way you can really change it after that is with, like with magic mushrooms. I feel like I've read, I feel like that's science-y. I feel like I read that somewhere. That's science. MBTI, MBTI. magic mushrooms are like an MBTI life hack that I shouldn't talk about because I don't get demonetized. Ninety-three questions. Jesus, man. That's too many questions. Like, I think you can tell. You get, I feel like if you take the test and you end up being like, screw it, and you only answer two, the person taking it is like, your personality type is ADHD. You didn't finish this test. You answered two questions and then started dribbling and drooling on the napkin. <laughs> if you're indecisive, if you have an indecisive personality type. <laughs> Yeah, I just want to put this out there. I've done years of hard therapy, years of psychiatry. Science cannot fix me. Medical science cannot fix me, if you're wondering. Thanks for asking. But none of my therapists have ever said Tommy to do this test. Like, I'm wondering if it's one of those, like, pop psychology things. You know what I mean? I've never had a therapist be like, oh, take this test. 
Probably because they know I wouldn't answer it. <laughs> Savage. I've just realized I think they're playing butter as a background music, which is why I'm grooving. Alright, Sonic the Hedgehog hair. I'm shocked Sugar finished early, honestly. I'm really shocked. I'm shocked he's that decisive. Such as where do babies come from? <laughs> Based on memes, this is really sciencey now. So it's like a bread half full kind of thing. Well, why wouldn't you reuse the clips that bread comes with? Or like the. Why wouldn't you reuse them? It's called recycling people. Get woke. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not science, mate. That's not. That's not how you seal stuff. Never, ever, ever, ever. <laughs> Who would have said that? <laughs> okay, never, ever, ever let Jin make a boat for you. Because he's going to be like, oh, I just took the wood and sort of bent it a little bit and, and bent it round back on itself. This boat should be good to go. It'd sink immediately. Never let him make a boat. No one does that. That's a serial killer thing. Wow. Bad? Have you guys seen iRobot? <laughs> oh, you coward. You coward. Oh, oh I, I couldn't know until it happened. Brilliant. <laughs> I'm with him. Wow, thanks for that useless piece of information, V. Six months to adapt to what? Oat milk? Porridge? The sun dying? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so then you're not in that category. <laughs> yes, thank you, RM. I should just... Oh, if, if there was a way I could get RM to guest react to my channel, I mean, obviously, it would get more views because it's RM. But even if he was in, like, a wig and glasses and his voice was modified, you didn't know who it was, he'd be much better at reacting than I am. That was great. He was saying what I was thinking but wasn't clever enough to say. <laughs> so you're a serial killer then. If I ever wish you to have a nice day, it's only because it would benefit me personally. Serial killer. Well, you're, now RM's being very generous. 
See, you would be a better reaction than me because he wouldn't like politely, jokingly insult other BTS members. Like, obviously, altruism begins in a sense because, you know, helping people can actually make you feel good. But you still have to want to help people. There's people that only want to make them feel good through means that involve not helping anyone at all. Serial killers. <laughs> <laughs> I have a biscuit, I have some chocolate. <laughs> yep, that is me in a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pocket change to you. Okay, <laughs> 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 Oh my, why? why? <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. The second I tried to educate myself, it was already there anyway. Oh well. Okay, let's have a look at this and see what I think about this. Passionate, warm, imaginative, confident, proactive, flexible. I mean, all of them are flexible. That's just, let's just say that to begin with. Passionate, warm, imaginative, confident. I really think you could say this about all of them though. Like, this, this, this sounds a bit too much like horoscoping to me, you know? Logical, calm, adaptable, focused, skeptical, critical, analytical. Okay, that makes sense based on what he said. That makes sense. Generous, flexible. Again, they're all flexible. This has been established many times over. Observant, analytical, cause and effect efficient. This team, it does make sense. It does make sense. Okay, so J-Hope, with his epic bowl haircut, which I don't think I've seen on him before. Like, the bowliest of bowl haircuts. Understanding, insight, strong values, organized, decisive. Again, flexible, not needed, generous, active, realistic,
야, 여러분 여기서 중요한 건 MBTI로 모든 사람들의 성격을 절대 구별할 수 없습니다. 저기도 맞아. 보면 계속 바뀌어요. 재미로 봐주시면 좋을 것 같습니다. 음. <웃음> right, like don't judge me if this test says I'm insane. 게임 질문 한번 보시고 아. 본인이 생각하는 답을 선택하여 화이트 보드에 여러분 넣어주시면 됩니다. 오케이. Okay. 자 문제 나오네요. 오케이. Okay. 친한 친구와 둘이서 밥을 먹기로 했는데 친구가 말도 없이 다른 친구. 아. 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 아, well, I'll tell you what I would do in that situation. Just fume internally because the problem is you can't really tell. You know, you can't say when you're there. I we didn't invite him. I don't. You know, that's rude. Like I don't want to. I don't want to make somebody else feel bad. But I'm the sort of person I will not make somebody else feel bad at the expense of my own happiness because I'm not. You know, unless like the person they brought happens to be like really nice, then it's like okay. But if they brought somebody. You know, that's that's already like dodgy anyway, and then there's a good chance I won't get on with that person, and then I'll just be sitting there like you motherfucker the whole time. Maybe later on I might text him being like, "Hey buddy," if I say to you, "Hey buddy," you know I'm pissed off at you. But, you know, "Hey buddy," um, like I uh, I just prefer if you give me a heads up in the future if you're gonna bring people because I get awkward around you people, especially when they fucking suck like the guy you brought. Just something like that, you know. That's what I would do in that situation. <laughs> 한 명씩 발표를 해보죠. 그거는 네. 좀 거시기하다 이거죠. 그렇지 전라도에 거시기는 네. 많은 것들이 그렇죠. 한 줄도 있잖아요. 거시기하네. 이씨. A thingy is a great word. 아니, 조금 있다가 집에 간다. <웃음> Just leave. Just the, the second the food comes, be like, I have finished for the day, and then leave, as if a robot. 그래도 어느 정도 티는 안 내. 아 그래도 민망할까 봐. 예. 네. 네. 진영. 저는 누군데? 누군데? 예. 네. 누군데? <laughs> Just say, who's that? Who's this dickhead? I'm <laughs> 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 <laugh
새로운 새로운 거니까. 공간에 가서 거. 새로운 걸 먹어 먹어보고 싶은 거지 그 사람. 아니 뭐 약속 있으면 나가고 뭐. 저는 주. 나중에 진짜, 진짜 어디 가는 거뭐 신기해. 진짜 아니 잘 어디 가. 내가 나왔던 거 아니야. 나 너무 충격인데. 그래서 나는 너 돌아다니는 거 보면 난 가끔씩 와 신기하다. 어, 그러니까 야 체력 좋다. 아, 너무 재밌는데 돌아. 아니 뭐 부산 갔다가 뭐 어디 아니, 갔다가 뭐다 뭐 가더라고. 뭐 인스타그램 보면. 어, 그러니까. 나, 나 솔직히 좀 부럽다는 생각도 한다. 어, 진짜. 와 진짜 어떻게 저렇게 돌아. They're all. I honestly I would not have guessed they're all homebodies like that. Like, it works for their lifestyle though, because they gotta be in the you know they gotta be indoors rehearsing dancing all the time. It works. 하나 둘 셋. 난 이거 오히려 말안 하고 지낼 수 있어. 왜냐면 핸드폰과 난 말하고. How did I just miss a question? This is ADHD in a nutshell. I just missed a question apparently. 하루 종일 말안 하고. Okay, going all day without talking is. 오늘 어렵죠. 힘들지. 자, 하나 둘 셋. 난 이거 오히려 말안 하고 지낼 수 있어. 왜냐면 핸드폰과 난 말하고 있는데 항상. I guess yeah. It depends. I really I go back. I don't know if you people actually want to hear my answers to this. So apologies if that's just irritating, but. I can definitely. It really depends. Like I've had, I'm definitely like I've got that classic comedian thing, which is like split introvert and extrovert. There's times in my life when I absolutely crave and need social contact, like it's some kind of crazy drug. And there's other times when I could happily not talk to somebody for a week. So, yeah. There you go. There's the answer. <laughs> YouTube doesn't count, and I know that for a fact because my therapist established this. No, surely it means talking to anyone in any format. No, I, I, okay. I feel like he's got a backwards Victorian attitude. He's like, it doesn't matter if you're texting; it doesn't count. It's like, well, no, because when I'm in those introvert frames of mind, I don't like texting people. I avoid it. If somebody texts me, rather than going, oh, cool, I'll be like. Oh God, and I won't reply for like four days. One day, but no more. Like I, I, I know friends that like they want to Skype, but then they want to Skype for like you know four hours, and I'm just like I, I've gotten to the point in my life where I'm just like I can't do this. I have to go. I used to just take it on the chin, but now I stand up for myself, and I'm like I have to go. I can't. I can't do this. <laughs> this is fascinating to me. Yeah, the contact. I, I never thought about that. That's interesting. <laughs> Someone in my chat just said Skype's still a thing. Obviously, not really. No one uses Skype. Who's anyone? But you know what I mean. Whatever video chat service you use, some people still use Skype. Most of them over the age of sixty. But yeah. For me, for me, it's very much being lost in deep thought. Guys, you can, the question, they're disrespecting the question. The question is, what would you call spacing out? And they're like, no, nope, I disagree that there could be one, any, you know, two definitions. There's only one definition. That's not the question is. Oh, this is going to be a tricky one to answer. 자, 나도 그래. 여러분, 자, 1번이 N이에요. 그래, 나 N인가? The cooking stuff. So I don't cook much, so that's already a problem. 계량기를 사용하는 것 자체가 스트레스. Measuring things is stressful. Measure everything as the recipe says. Oh. I feel like I'm on the fence with that one. 
I tend to follow the recipe if I am doing a recipe, but I also don't mind doubling stuff up. You know what I mean? Like I don't, I don't mind being like, well, I can just times all this by two and it should work out fine, even if that's not scientifically sound. I guess, I guess I measure. <laughs> right. I think this is why I think normally I'm quite an instinctive person, but when it comes to cooking, I do follow the recipe because I can't cook. So it's like, that's just self-preservation. I'm not trying to burn my whole kitchen down or make something horrible. Well, that's too much. Measuring water to boil a pasta or some noodles is way too much. This, this, is a, this is a tricky question as well. Because this is like, how do you... This is like saying, how do you learn? How do you memorize things? A, cramming, or B, completely understanding it. I mean... When I've had to study for tests and stuff, I've done the cramming thing, which works for me, but it doesn't mean I understood it. Or even if I understood it, that doesn't guarantee it'll stay there forever. Like, I feel like these are two separate questions, almost. Because one of them is basically being like, when you have a test, do you cheat it or do you do it properly? And I guess maybe the answer there is I cheat it. Because as a kid, with the ADHD thing, if there were times I didn't understand the answer, I would just try and remember what the answer was anyway. But I prefer to understand it. Like, I definitely prefer to understand what I'm talking about. You may be surprised to hear if you're a fan of my channel. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I am that kind of way. Yes, yes. Okay, I'm going to rewind this and I'm just going to say this and point at the screen because this man is an ADHD person and he's also a genius, so he's expressing my thoughts precisely. So I'm the same way, I have to understand something, but as he says, in a second, it takes too much time. So therefore, you're doing it last minute, as in me and all of my university essays, so you end up cramming. Thank you. Thank you so much for explaining that. <laughs> and nothing else. That is interesting. They're all good dancers, but still. That explains why I'm no good at dancing. I don't understand what my body's doing, you know? Okay. Thinking and feeling. I can do that. T and F. I can remember that. <laughs> I can cram that. T and F. Go to the In the next episode. Well, I look forward to the next episode then. This is cool. This is interesting. And it's nice to get some insight into their minds. Because as BTS fans, we want every little tiny insight we can te we can get. <laughs> cool. Cool. That's very cool. Part two coming to a reaction screen. A comedian reacts channel near you very soon. Thanks for suggesting that, guys. That was really, really cool. And even though I'm not convinced the MBTIF, MDT, MBTI thingy isn't bollocks necessarily or like partially sort of horoscopy it's still you know very very cool and it's nice to get and even like the, the discussion it provokes is interesting and it's nice to see them talk about themselves because you know it's kind of fascinating like there's things you make assumptions about uh and hearing some of them say some stuff is just like well you know here the whole time i thought sugar was like a lizard you know with with a human body but apparently he's just as real as you and i so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you for suggesting that. 
If you did enjoy it, please make sure you take a second to click on the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you can see when I upload and when I go live for my live streams. Uh, I go live two or three times a week. You know, I'm trying to make it more consistent and the time more consistent. But what I will say right now is I do go live two or three times a week. So, you know, subscribe so you can see when that happens. Please do check out my Patreon. Link's in the description and you can help support my channel. And if you want to support my channel, you can also do a super thanks. The fancy purple button or something down there. I like purple, so that's cool with me. Hope you guys are having a splendid day. I am happy to be back making these videos. I'll see you soon. And remember, if you like this reaction to MBTI, and click the subscribe button because I'm a great guy. <laughs>